In Ethiopia, droughts are becoming more severe, unpredictable and frequent. In 2017, after three years of low rainfall, over 8 million people required urgent food assistance, hundreds of thousands were displaced and millions of livestock died. The remote Somali region in northeast Ethiopia is a semi-arid landscape of plains and hills. There are no natural, permanent sources of surface water, only seasonal rivers and wetlands. People here depend directly on nature for their survival. But the land cover, water resources and pasture are being lost at an alarming rate. While droughts put increased strain on the land, the root cause of this problem is that the land is overburdened by activities from a fast-growing population such as intensive overgrazing by livestock and deforestation from firewood gathering. When the rain does fall, the barren, eroded soils cause another kind of disaster. Deadly flash floods as the land is too degraded to absorb water. Disaster relief is crucial for saving lives under these circumstances. But providing immediate food aid and shelter does not address the underlying problems. To escape the downward spiral of food and water insecurity, communities across the Sahel need to build their long-term resilience. To address this protracted crisis, Wetlands International developed a new approach with humanitarian partners in Ethiopia. A critical first step was mapping the landscape, identifying the changes in land cover over time and understanding how the landscape naturally provides water and retains it. Our resulting maps, manuals and recommendations provide a roadmap for improving the health of the land and water to reverse environmental degradation. To put these plans into action, we train and engage everyone from local governments and communities to school children. With their participation, we've undertaken large-scale tree planting to stop erosion and retain water, restored wetlands to recharge groundwater and increase soil moisture, excluded livestock from sensitive areas to promote the regeneration of vegetation, and developed sustainable livelihoods around wetlands for fish ponds, fruit cultivation and beekeeping. We believe that building up ecosystem resilience over time as part of disaster risk reduction offers the best hope for escaping the growing humanitarian crisis here and can be replicated in other landscapes facing severe environmental degradation in the Horn of Africa and wider Sahel.